I think it's really important for doctors in all ranges of care to pay attention to novel antibiotics. I think as we learn about antibiotics, we see the weaknesses of old agents and the benefits of new agents. And when you're looking at delafloxacin, there's some significant differences compared to other fluoroquinolones. Simply it has anti-MRSA activity, it means you can use it for skin. Uh, and the safety profile is different. There's no QT prolongation for delafloxacin that's been observed, and that's a huge advantage for traditional agents, particularly in the elderly patient population. So the safety data being presented uh, at this meeting talks about um, delafloxacin versus vancomycin and estreonam. And the overall summary is that the, there was, the delafloxacin was non-inferior to vanc and estreonam. There were some differences in discontinuation where delafloxacin was discontinued less frequently than vanc and estreonam. Uh, and the side effects are characterized as relatively mild. So it's encouraging to be able to see you know, what may be a more tolerable agent there. So this is a, a very different change from old fluoroquinolones. Again, the idea of that safety factor of no QT prolongation, when especially when you're looking in the elderly patient population where your number needed to harm for a fluoroquinolone from just simply QT prolongation could be one in 30 to have an arrhythmia event to one in 500 to have potentially torsade de point. To be able to get rid of that is a major step forward. So that's an encouraging development for fluoroquinolones. And you have to understand the use of this drug. Fluoroquinolones are, are drugs that traditionally been ones that we've tried to avoid for a whole host of reasons. Yet there were three million fluoroquinolone prescriptions written last year. So here's potentially a safer, different option uh, that may be tolerable for skin and skin structure infections.